Hello, today we're going to take a look at a new uh, jam quick jamming session by the people the Quake Mapping Discord. Um, and it's the Alkaline Jam. A bunch of new maps, levels, whatever you call them, with uh, using the Alkaline Dev Kit. I really enjoyed and loved Alkaline, so I can't wait to see what people are making with it. And, yeah, I'm going to take a look at it. So the first thing we're going to take a look at is the new uh, start map for this um, set of levels. I really enjoy it. It's like on some sort of uh, cool little um, helipad type thing. No, helicarrier. Yeah, yeah. Helic like adventures thing. And what's also cool is the thing you start in is that same like vehicle you start, uh, you exit one of the alkaline maps from. I'll probably put a screenshot of a map. The map I'm thinking of, and it, you know, uh, I haven't found the uh, secret because to get the nightmare difficulty. So, but granted, I'm not a secret hunter. That kind of thing. To, I don't look for secrets. Kind of just wander into them. But yeah, I really enjoy this uh, start map. I think the texturing is awesome. I think I love the uh, feeling of it, and also the music is pretty. Yeah, the maps have some new music, and it's pretty pretty neat. First map I played was Subdernal Havoc by Greenwood, and I say it's a pretty good uh, starting map. It's there's nothing really uh, unique about it. Nothing really. It's a you know basic tech base, just you know all the new al alkaline features, alkaline features. But I do there's some really interesting uh, set pieces I like. I like the lab, the lab area where you like see you, you see the Shambler, the Vore, and the Fiend. They're all you, you're like prepared to do it. I was kind of low on health in the recording here, so uh, you gotta do a little ring around Rosie with the Shambler, and good thing, the uh, Fiend and the Vore uh, infighted, did some infighting with, um, so kind of did all the work on their own. Also, next to the low area is like this little, like, uh, what would you call it, like a, like a, I don't know, maintenance area, I don't know, yeah. And it's kind of, you know, again, it's just a pretty simple map. I, it's, one not the other thing to recognize is that the uh, new, like, trifectas that you collected in the base of Alkaline are now, like, some sort of new, like, god mode type of thing where, like, you're invincible. I'm pretty sure you get quad damage. And so, like, I see, I didn't fully understand that at the first time I played it, but it's pretty interesting that there's basically a new god power. Uh, next we have Base Rush by Mikey, or Mike I or, don't know if I'm misspelling that. And I think this is a really interesting map, as in, it's oddly, um, no, I don't know the greater, I don't know the greater, but it's oddly a very much beginner map. The texturing, I think, are Macon textures, and I can really tell that, like, it's very simplistic, it looks like a map I make, I feel much more of a beginner. Granted, I also haven't really messed around with Magon textures, so that's one thing. But I think that combat is pretty solid for the, for a beginner. I think it's very, uh, electric, it's, it's short and sweet, and it's kind of endearing to see that, um, uh, such a beginner can be, uh, in this type of thing. Granted, it's jamming, it's map jam, open to anybody, but I think it's just, Pretty, uh, neat. Next up is Radiator Yang's Please Tell Me It's Raining. This is a map that is very interesting. It, I mean, it, it's different. Because, essentially, it's like a... It's really just a single room. A single, uh, like, basically arena gauntlet. One interesting thing is that, uh, there's platforms that move up and down and, like, changes how it is. And changes the uh, elevation and all that stuff, and and then like even the middle of the map, the gravity, it, 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 the gravity uh, goes lower. It's pretty cool. Um, essentially, it kind of feels like a like a prisoner, You're like a prisoner and, and like a gladiator or something like that. Gladiator combat. It's it's pretty cool. I really like it. I I it's, it's a nice little just like just. Fighting map. Feels like the dead simple. Like I'm too dead simple. Next up is Paul. Wait, what last name? Next up is Paul Latoski's the Derelict Freighter. I think the best thing I can say about Derelict Freighter is the atmosphere, the music, and the kind of like awesome like 
dr essentially it's like a the map itself is like a spiral and in, in just in the beginning of the map you can look down and basically the entire map and the music like like I don't know why it always just swells up at that part after looking down it's so atmospheric the map itself is pretty cool there's some like cool um, that's a cool like switch things like switch on I got confused in a little crate section um it's nice and simple um, uh, and also the texturing, which is unique, done by, uh, Patoying is pretty awesome, actually. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Like, I, I really like it. Next up is a map that I'm not really that um, much of a fan. It's it's a good map. It's just that it feels kind of eh. It's, which is Ionis's, uh Sunken Hopes. or sunken. So yeah, Sunken Hopes. And I guess the real main gimmick is, is that there's like a uh, part of the map that's like it, it's a base. Part of the map that's like underwater. That, it doesn't really, that, and it really doesn't. I honestly, my, my true opinion on it is that. It's good looking. I'm pretty sure it's all, you know, uh, it based textures. You know, like vanilla textures. It's just that the whole like underwater gimmick. I don't think it's not done enough to make it unique. It it just feels um repetitive, and it just feels like a. It feels kind of maze like. I I got lost a bit, and I mean the final like little fight is kind of cool. Uh, yeah, not my favorite, but it's not bad. It's kind of just mixed. My opinion's mixed. Next time I'm here, it's a map that I'm really not a fan of, and it's Super Portal by by Detsumit Detsumit. That De I'm just gonna call it Die. I can't fucking say the name. And I think it's really interesting. It really actually starts off with you going through a portal, uh, like that kind of reminds me of the Scourge and Armagon portal, and then in, like. You know, you get a rune in, like, a little, like, Eldritch area, and then go back, and boom, like, everything's haywire. It's a cool story, and I really like it. It's just that the gameplay is so... Duh. The Everything feels too big for what it needs to be. Like, there's just, like, bridge section where it's, like, just drones, and that's it. But, like, it's just a gigantic corridor. It feels like... It feels like I. It feels like again. It feels like everything. It, it's way too big for the combat, and even the combat alone. I just think it's kind of boring. I mean, like it feels like you have to um. In order to actually like, maybe it's because I'm bad at the game. I'm not that good at game. It, you just gotta like sit, stand in a fucking um, stand at just a an edge of a and at a door and just like fucking fire in. That's how I fought the uh. Final boss, which is cool. It's a cool little thing. You gotta like evade Chathon attacks while you break the uh, uh, computers to to to, to try down the portal. I love the story. I just think the uh, gameplay execution is just not good. And that's it, really. Up is just it's is wait, what is the name? Subacarax. Sub. It's a map by Shades Master. I'm just gonna say that. And I think it's a really fast, pumping action. Like, it's pure, like, combat all the way through. And I think it really helped with the uh, DLC music. I can't remember exactly what track. I think it's definitely, like, the like the first map, uh, first map uh, of Scourge Arbogon music. It, it really helped with that. It's just a, it's just a small, tiny, uh, packed map. And they're all direct texturing. I, can't, I think it's like a... I'm pretty sure it's Mac on textures. Mac on textures always have that kind of like pop of color that I really love. Um, yeah, I really like it. It's pretty. It's a simple, just combat-oriented blast of a time. Also, I'm pretty sure that's a Doom Eternal texture for like the main gate door. Next up is Escape by Alexander. This is actually positive, positive, possibly the most story-heavy. Uh, map in this set was you essentially start with no weapons, like no axe.
cracks in like this pit or something. They can probably like in play that you're in prison there for some reason. And essentially what it seems like is uh from what they call essentially the gravity goes down, you can like jump out of it, do some light parkour and like you know, it changes to and from low gravity, it's cool and I really like it. It's very dark and moody and it if I'm not cool pretty short, I guess but the encounters are pretty there's some pretty uh comp not comp, comp difficult encounters, but like there's some there's some the difficulty there. And essentially it feels like it, it really just feels more like an atmospheric like romp through a like I don't know, like a station or whatever you're on. I particularly really enjoy it. North Central Pastronics is a map by Dragons for Lunch. And again, it's one of those maps that I have trouble remembering. I had to just kind of brush up because I completely forgot about the map. And yeah, it kind of, it, I, 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 what I remember is there's a cool little like uh, dash at the end of the thing with the, in a cave. That's kind of all I remember. I kind of loaded it up and it kind of refreshed my memory. But and, and it, again, it kind of, it's another one, another not generic tech base. I mean, it kind of is, but but it has a yeah, I kind of all I can remember is that kind of like cool like a uh, dash at the end. Like I'm gonna have to dash at the end to get north. End. So yeah, I'm sorry. I just have nothing really interesting to say about this map. Last off, we have Logistics and Chaos by. By Emerald Tiger. And I guess this is also another like sunken hopes where I can't really remember most of it. I just, it's, I, with that, I think it's cool that there is a, it's mostly, uh, thick, uh, tech, it textures. One thing I do remember is that there's a cool little platforming section. It, it feels kind of nice. It, it's not punishing uh, how I, what I like my uh, platforming to be. And, um, also the, a little ending. There's also an ending where, like, you, uh, you have to, like, get to the, you know, have to run on top of a, uh, like, a chopper and you can escape on it. It's, it's cool. It's just that, like, that's the only thing I, said I remember. Is again, it just feels kind of. Eh. So, overall, I think Alkaline Jam 1 is awesome. I love, I, I love Alkaline now. Let's see more maps for you, but. Malcolm, there are some really good maps that would be that I think would be fit right into the base alkaline. There are some ones that I'm not a fan of, and one that I just hate with my hate with my uh all my soul. But I think this is a very good thing, very good set of maps that you should, if you like alkaline, hell, if you just like Quake, I think you should try some of this. I mean, I mean, I think you should try alkaline the base the base one first, but I think this is a, just a good, like, set of levels with Alkaline. And also, one other thing, I hope to be doing more of this series that I'm going to be calling Quake Quick Looks. Um, it's a very basic name, I couldn't think of anything unique. So I just want to, you know, just look at some new stuff. And so, yeah, look on the, uh, look for that if I ever decide to do one. And, yeah, goodbye.